Mr. Grinch and I are at the Bengal Barbecue. We're gonna try the Jingle Julep. It's frozen white hot chocolate, cookie butter drizzle, with cocoa hot dusted and finished with a little pretzel stick. I thought it was more like a milkshake, but it looks kind of more like a like a slushy kind of thing. So we'll see. Oh, it's weird. It tastes like a Whopper candy. It tastes exactly like Whoppers. If you know what that tastes like, those little balls, those little chocolate malt balls, exactly what it tastes like. By Mr. Grinch, you'd think I was talking about him, but really, I was talking about Andrew. Andrew. Try this. Oh, that's an awful sound. Okay, try this. You have drawn any more attention? <laughs> try it. Oh, I like that. Oh, okay, try it. He likes that. Oh, I like that. It's different. You can definitely taste the caramel in it. It's not super creamy. I can definitely taste the ice. It's not my favorite. I'd rather a creamier milkshake, but it's not the worst. I mean, Andrew likes it more than I thought. I thought he'd go one sip, blah, 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 but. It's different. It's, a, it's, it's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> We're here at the cozy cone. We're gonna try the Christmas tree cone. It looks a lot better in a cone, but it's also easier to melt and spill faster. So it's peppermint soft serve, and it's got sprinkles. We're supposed to have a star on top, but they didn't give us one for some reason. It basically, honestly, just tastes like mint soft serve with sprinkles, but it's it's cool. Oh, what? This it's yummy. Opinion. It's yummy, but it's just mint soft serve. That's I don't think it's worth the hype. No, I'm going to try to get out. The texture of the soft serve is really good, and it is a really nice taste. It's not too minty, not like toothpaste, definitely not too overpowering. It's like the perfect spearmint type, but it's not worth the lineup, because sometimes you can't even get mobile order for this. It's not worth that, but it is delicious if you want a treat, and if there's not a long line, go for it. We're here at the Jolly Holiday, gonna try some holiday desserts. Kiwi's in his Santa outfit, and he's of course ready for the dessert, because he's here for the desserts. First, we have the Mickey ornament macaroon. Look how cute this is. It's got a little ice cream cone on top to hold the ornament in place, so you can attach it to your tree, of course. But do I pull his ears out or just eat them? Oh my gosh, that's good. It's like a giant Dunkaroo. I really like that one. It's the filling for me. Mm. Hey, you can really taste the dark chocolate in between the, the white cookies, peppermint flavor. There's too. white in here. No, I'm not pointing out the white, but there's white in here. That's peppermint. It's really yummy. Yeah, that's very good. So next up is this exciting dessert, which is a cinnamon roll cheesecake. It's got a cream cheese filling, graham cracker crust, and chocolate nougatine arms, along with the fondant face. Which is adorable. I don't think it's fondant. I think it's a white chocolate face. Or it's a white chocolate face, not yes. a fondant. He's right. a really cute little snowman. It's too warm for snow here, so he has to be eaten now. Goodbye. We'll go all the way through. That's good. It just tastes like normal cheesecake but really good quality. Yeah, there's nothing too special about that. Yeah, that's what it's I was trying to say. I just don't want to be rude. It's just normal cheesecake. <laughs> Not overpowering anything. When you deconstruct the snowman, you can find that there's chocolate in the middle. I mean, they would say don't eat the brown snow, but you know, let's try it. This brown part that I was just talking about is cinnamon. It's cinnamon flavor. Try this. That's the cinnamon roll element to it. Yeah. So, it's really good cheesecake. I actually think it's better than the Cheesecake Factory, so don't bother walking there, just stay in the park and have this. <laughs> Plus, it's fun because you can take a part of Snowman. Instead of Anna and Elsa singing, do you want to build a snowman? You're saying, no, I want to take him apart. Would you like to tear off his arm and eat it too? No, oh, that hurt. All right, it's good. No, it tastes good. I'm sorry, Snowman, but your days are gone. We're here at the Plaza Inn. We got the peppermint shortcake. Look at that. So fancy looking. It smells like peppermint hot chocolate from uh, Starbucks. I'll try just the whipped cream just because, you know. Hmm. Try that. Is it peppermint whipped cream? Or is it just that I had a candy cane piece? No, it is. I think there's a hint of peppermint in there. Mm, it's perfect. So try it with the cake. It's not too minty. Sometimes they have peppermint. You know how it can be a little bit like toothpaste or too minty? Not at all. This is like the perfect. Okay. Oh, 
Well, that's nice together. It's just straight chocolate cake, but it's very good with the peppermint whipped cream. So it has a nice balance and flavor. This is my favorite Christmas dessert so far. Honestly, if you're here for the holidays, definitely try it. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm just biased because I'm obsessed with chocolate cake, but this is like the best dessert I've had all throughout. The cake's really moist and it's uh, very, you know, pretty good flavor. Oh, look at that. I didn't notice that. The top has little yeah. Oreo crumbles. Yeah, this is a very nice dessert. I would definitely try this one. Pazin always has the best desserts. I love it. Great cakes. Lots of in. Check it out if you're here. As much as I love this, I do want to warn you that this can be a little bit much to eat all this cream for one person. It probably would be better to share this because look how, look how far my fork goes well, into that. You are sharing it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Of course it's too much. I, I will be sharing it. I just mean like I haven't shared it yet because I really like it, but it gets to be way too just too much after a while so I'm at my point where I have to share it now I just I just thought I'd, I'd warn future future me's to start start strong and share we're here at the boardwalk pizza and pasta by the paradise girl we're trying the gingerbread cheesecake it tastes like pumpkin pie like, I don't taste the gingerbread, it tastes exactly like pumpkin pie to me. Maybe I'm crazy, but it tastes just like pumpkin pie. It tastes like pumpkin pie filling, doesn't it? Yeah, I'd agree with you. There's a little bit of like a hint of cinnamon at the end in the aftertaste, but it also tastes like pumpkin pie. And I just have the icing at the top. I don't know, it tastes like white chocolate. Do you know what the icing is supposed to be? No, I didn't say what the ingredients were. It's not overly sweet. I'd still say it's really good. It's just not a festive dessert because you can't taste the gingerbread or any really holiday type of flavor. It tastes just like pumpkin pie to me. You don't taste the gingerbread. No. That's what gets offset either by the cream cheese or I'm not sure what, but you just don't taste a lot of gingerbread. It tastes a lot more like pumpkin pie. I mean, if you like pumpkin pie, you'll love it, but it really does not taste like gingerbread. So if you're wanting something super Christmassy, this is not your dessert, but it is still delicious. So we got the Mickey gingerbread cookie, which was uh, really hard to get yesterday. It actually ran out on mobile order yesterday when I tried to get it. So I got it first thing this morning before we even got in the park. Picked it up uh, not that long ago. I'm really excited to try it. I've heard that they're really, really good. So ready to give it a go. Santa's official cookie tester will be the judge. I'm actually really excited to see if it lives up to the hype because everyone seems to be thinking it's the best thing in the world. And I really like making my own gingerbread, so I want to know if it's better than mine or if it's just the same. Oh my goodness, his head ripped off. Well, you can see how pretty he is before. You gotta move it very carefully. No, his ears already ripped apart. Here, I'll move it carefully. I'm just Quick Instagram pause because I want a photo. You know what? I don't think I'm going to take a picture of that because that's going to rip off. It's already breaking off really quickly, really easily. Wait, 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 look at this. Do you hear what I hear? Mickey can't hear anything because his ear is gone. Which I like. It breaks <laughs> off that easily because it means it's probably soft. I like soft. I like my gingerbread softer. Oh my gosh, that is soft. Yeah, that's soft. That's really nice. That's, that's my kind of, that's my style right there. That's really good. Okay, not to be a picky poly, it's really good. I'd still get it, but I don't think it's worth all the hype of having to get it first thing in the morning, mobile ordering and huge lines and stuff. It's really good. It's definitely soft. It's tasty. I think the, the ginger's not all that strong. So, like, it's a good cookie, but I, I would have liked a little bit more of a ginger kick. And it's definitely soft. I really like it soft. If you're not into soft gingerbread, though, this probably isn't a cookie for you. But if you like your gingerbread soft, this is definitely... Definitely a good get. Do you like it? Good. The one thing I will say about this cookie is if you're wanting it for social media for the photos, it is really soft, which makes it taste amazing, but it's not the best for Instagram because when I got him, his ear came off, as you know, and his legs also broke in too. And that's before we did anything. His legs started to be cracked, so. Be very careful, it's delicate if you're gonna use it for social media photos. But it's perfect for eating.